Hello, my name is Jo and I've made a short film about how to make an imaginary creature in air drying clay. So you'll need some air drying clay, some water, a knife, a pencil, paintbrush might come in handy but not necessary, a piece of paper to do a little sketch on if you've got, you know, might help with your ideas. And I've got some bits and bobs to add to the creation. So I've got googly eyes, feathers, twigs, pebbles. I think I've even got a toothpaste cloth in there. So before I show you about making in clay, I'm just going to show you um, some ideas about developing a character. So to focus my mind or to feed my imagination, I've got some books from my bookshelf. So there's this book called Wilder Man. And these are costumes, European costumes. And then there is Sarah Fanelli's book on mythology. It's amazing. Cyclops. And then finally, this book called Five Little Fiends. So I'm showing you this because there's so much character here, but not a lot of detail. And that's what you need when you're working in, air, in the small figures in air drying clay. So, but you can use different approaches um, to finding your character. So this character here, this figure that I made here, I made this because somebody was really winding me up that day. But you know, something that springs from your imagination, anything. So I like to start with um, doing a very basic sketch. But you know, if you've not worked in air drying clay before, you can just go straight to the clay. That's what I did when I made my first figure. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make a standing figure. But you can follow those instructions or you can just um, look what I'm doing and adapt um, according to what your figure's going to be like. So, I've got my clay. You don't need about that much. And I'm gonna tear off a small amount because you never know, I might need to add something to my figure, but also it can be quite good um, if you want to test out some mark making or that sort of thing. So I'm gonna get my lump of clay and I'm going to pat it into a ball shape, sort of getting rid of any of the creases and in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll my clay to elongate the shape like this. Okay, so now I need to sketch out the basic shape. So with my fingers, I'm going to, first of all, create the head. Don't make it too small because you might want to pull out some ears, squeeze out some ears or a nose or horns, that sort of thing. And now I'm going to cut some legs and some arms, like that, okay. And then I'm just going to go around and work one bit at a time, but just rotate my way round the shape, just refining its arms and legs and neck. Just squeezing it into shape like this. You can cut off bits if you feel that something's got a bit chunky. So when you're working in air drying clay, you know, it's a bit weighty at first, but when it dries, it dries really light. But this means that you need to create, you need to have good chunky legs so it can stand up. Because you don't want it sort of sagging under the weight and it will sag a bit under the weight of the body and the weight of the clay. So big chunky legs, you can have big feet, whatever you want, but make it chunky so you can see it can stand up like that. Okay, so I like to work in two different ways. I like to see the way the clay is naturally shaping 
but I also like to push and pull it into um, the shape that I want. And the other thing I do is I use my hands a lot, or my fingers and thumbs. And one of the reasons for this is one, that's how I enjoy working, but also when you're handling your dry um, figure, you know, it sits so nice in your hand because you've used your hands to make it. So my thumb sits really happily there and, you know, and here and here because I've used my fingers and my thumbs to create the shapes. So you might find it's drying out a bit. So just put a little, just a little bit of water on your hands to smooth it out like this and just start to form a character. So a pencil is quite nice to roll around to create a neck or an arm in there like this. And then I'm going to have, it's quite, you need to keep your tools a bit free from the clay so it makes it easier to use. I think I'm going to create a nice little tummy in there by making some dents with the knife and then soften them a little bit with a bit of water. Like that. Okay. So now I'm gonna to start to work on, oh, I think I'll just dent in a few little feet in there, like that, so he's got some good feet. As I say, the legs can sag a little bit under the weight, so just push and pull them into the shape that you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna to start to work on the head. So I'm gonna make some little ears in there using my fingers like that and squeeze a nice snout. Oh, I'm not sure if it's looking like a badger or a fox, but it's looking like something. So it's nice to dent in with your little finger, some shapes for the eye, eye sockets. And keep holding it up so you're looking at it at eye level. So you can see, one, the character that's developing, but see what's happening under its nose. Like that, see, so just, let's just get, make a little shape in there for its its mouth and keep looking round to see whether it looks good from all angles. I'm not really going to bother with the back because I'm um, making this quite quickly. So you can get your, let's just make a better shape before I start adding ooh, the details. Look, see, I've just made the ear go a bit odd, but that doesn't matter. You can put it right. I'm going to use the pencil to little nostrils in there, like that. I'm going to use the googly eyes. So you need them to be pushed into the clay a bit. So when it, the clay dries, they don't just pop off. So push them in a bit so they're sunk in there and then they can dry and they're like that. Okay, so rip a neck. Now, to add some details, I think I'm going to Give him some claws. I like to have one step in reality, so five is always a good number. Or oh. and just make sure that you haven't dented something or misshapen something as you gone through the process of the making and it's quite nice to give them a nice little stance like that little foot forward and that's how you make a basic figure in air drying clay and you can put in more details if you've got more time you know I've used paper eyes here um, you don't have to use googly eyes and um, I think I'll put a feather in for the hair so I hope you enjoy making your own figure. Okay, thank you very much.